Why quantum computers are faster than classical computers? Well, let's unravel this quantum mystery together. Quantum computing could be likened to the next frontier of technology, a realm where the usual rules of physics don't apply. It's a world where bits, the fundamental building blocks of classical computers, make way for qubits, their quantum counterparts. Unlike bits that can exist in either a one or zero state, qubits can be both one and zero at the same time, thanks to a quantum phenomenon known as superposition. Now imagine a library the size of our universe and you're in search of a single book. A classical computer would check each book one by one, while a quantum computer could check all books simultaneously. This is due to another quantum phenomenon known as entanglement, which allows qubits to be linked, such that the state of one qubit instantly influences the state of another, no matter the distance separating them. In essence, quantum computing is like having thousands of supercomputers working in parallel, while classical computing is like having one supercomputer working alone. This is why quantum computers are faster. They can process vast amounts of data and solve complex problems that would take classical computers an astronomical amount of time to solve. However, speed isn't the only advantage of quantum computing. Quantum algorithms operate differently than classical ones, providing a new perspective to problem solving. They can find patterns in data that classical computers can't see, and they can simulate natural phenomena at a level of detail beyond the reach of any classical machine. So, the speed of quantum computers is not just a matter of faster processing, but a fundamental shift in how we perform computations. It's about the ability to solve problems that were previously thought unsolvable, to explore new territories in science and technology, and to redefine what we consider possible. The quantum revolution is not just on the horizon, it's happening right now. Are you ready to dive in and explore this fascinating world? Now, you might ask, what makes a quantum computer so special? Well, it's all about the qubits. Dive into the world of quantum computing and you'll soon encounter the term qubit. But what exactly is a qubit? To understand this, let's first look at the classical bit. In classical computing, bits are the smallest unit of information, and they can exist in one of two states, a zero or a one. This binary system forms the foundation of all your favorite devices, from smartphones to supercomputers. A qubit or quantum bit, however, isn't as straightforward. In the quantum realm, a qubit can exist not just as a one or a zero, but also in a state known as superposition, where it can be both one and zero simultaneously. It's like flipping a coin and having it land on both heads and tails at the same time. This is where the magic of quantum computing starts to shine through. But that's not all. Qubits also have a feature called entanglement. When qubits become entangled, the state of one qubit becomes linked to the state of another, no matter how far apart they are. Change the state of one qubit, and the state of its entangled partner changes instantaneously. This spooky action, as Einstein once called it, allows quantum computers to process vast amounts of data simultaneously. So, how does this translate to computational power? Well, while a classical computer with two bits can be in one of four possible states at any given time, a quantum computer with two qubits can be in all four of these states at once. This means that as you add more qubits, the power of a quantum computer grows exponentially, not linearly, as with classical computers. Therefore, qubits, with their ability to exist in multiple states, are the core of quantum computing. They're the key to creating computers that can solve certain problems much faster than any classical computer ever could. And while we're still in the early stages of harnessing this power, the potential of quantum computing promises to revolutionize everything from cryptography to climate modeling. Therefore, qubits with their ability to exist in multiple states are the core of quantum computing. But how does a quantum computer physically work? Let's dive into its components. At the heart of a quantum computer lies the quantum processor, often referred to as the quantum chip. This is the powerhouse of the system, where the magic of quantum computations takes place. Quantum processors are built using quantum bits or qubits, which are the fundamental units of quantum information. Unlike classical bits, which can be either zero or one, qubits can exist in a superposition of states, allowing them to perform multiple calculations at once. To maintain their quantum state, qubits need to be isolated from their environment. This is why quantum processors are usually housed in a dilution refrigerator, a device that cools the processor to temperatures colder than outer space. This extreme cold reduces thermal noise, allowing the qubits to maintain their superposition and entanglement. Next, we have the quantum gates. 
These are operations that change the state of the qubits. Quantum gates are the building blocks of quantum circuits, which are used to perform quantum algorithms. These gates are not physical structures, but rather mathematical operations that are applied to the qubits. Then there's the quantum memory, which is used to store and retrieve quantum information. Quantum memory is crucial for many quantum computing tasks, including error correction and quantum communication. Unlike classical memory, quantum memory can store information in a superposition of states, offering significant advantages in terms of storage capacity and processing speed. Lastly, there's the classical control system. This is a traditional computer that controls the operations of the quantum processor. It sends instructions to the quantum gates, reads out the results of the computations and performs error correction. It's the bridge between the quantum world and the classical world. In essence, a quantum computer is a symphony of these components, all working in harmony to manipulate qubits and perform computations far beyond the capabilities of classical computers. These components work together to manipulate qubits and perform quantum computations. So why do we want quantum computers? Let's explore their potential applications. Quantum computing is not just a fascinating field of study, it's also a powerful tool that can revolutionize industries. The unique properties of qubits and superposition, together with quantum entanglement and quantum interference, can be harnessed to solve complex problems, which are currently beyond the reach of classical computers. Take machine learning, for instance. Machine learning algorithms are used to make predictions or decisions without being explicitly programmed to do so. These algorithms learn from data and improve their performance as they gain experience. Quantum computing can significantly speed up these algorithms. With quantum machine learning, we can process massive amounts of data more efficiently, making predictions more accurate and faster. In the realm of optimization, quantum computing also shines. Optimization problems are everywhere, from planning the best route for delivery trucks, to scheduling flights, to arranging the components on a computer chip. Even the most powerful classical computers can take an impractical amount of time to solve these problems as their complexity increases. Quantum computers, with their ability to hold and process large amounts of data simultaneously, can find the optimal solution in a fraction of the time. Simulation is another area where quantum computing can make a huge impact. Simulating complex systems like weather patterns or molecular interactions requires an enormous amount of computing power. This is where quantum computers come into play. They can simulate large systems more accurately and efficiently than classical computers, opening up new possibilities in fields like meteorology, chemistry, and physics. So it's clear that quantum computing can revolutionize machine learning, optimization, and simulation. But the potential applications don't stop there. From cryptography to drug discovery, from logistics to finance, quantum computing can transform a wide range of industries, offering solutions to problems that are currently intractable. Quantum computing, therefore, holds immense potential in solving complex problems that are beyond the reach of classical computers. When will we all have access to quantum computers, and who is leading the quantum race? These are the questions that often bubble up when we delve into the realm of quantum computing. Quantum technology, though in its infancy, is progressing at a brisk pace, with several nations throwing their hats into the quantum ring. The United States, for instance, has made substantial strides in quantum research and development. Its National Quantum Initiative is a testament to the country's commitment to maintaining a leadership position in this burgeoning field. Industry giants like IBM, Google, Microsoft, and Intel are also investing heavily in the development of practical quantum computing systems. Not to be left behind, China has identified quantum computing as a strategic technology field. The Chinese government's vast investments in quantum research are evident in initiatives like the National Laboratory for Quantum Information Sciences. Moreover, Chinese tech companies including Alibaba, Baidu, and Huawei are making significant contributions to quantum research. Europe too has embraced the quantum future. The European Union has established quantum computing as one of its key research priorities. With initiatives like the Quantum Flagship Program aiming to accelerate the development of quantum technologies across the continent. Meanwhile, Canada is making its mark on the quantum map. Institutions such as the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics and the Institute for Quantum Computing at the University of Waterloo are at the forefront of quantum research. Companies like D-Wave Systems are also contributing to the advancement of quantum computing technology. Down under in Australia, the government and academic institutions are heavily investing in quantum research and development. Universities like Sydney and New South Wales are playing a pivotal role in this endeavor.
backed by government funding initiatives. In conclusion, quantum technology is a global pursuit, with nations around the world vying for the quantum crown. While it's still early days, the progress made thus far is encouraging. Quantum computing, though still in its early stages, is rapidly evolving, promising a revolutionary future in the realm of computing.